Hey guys, in this episode we'll be having a look, we'll be doing a demo of the Samsung 8.5 Kilo Ed Wash AI personalized washing machine. Let's jump right in. To kick things off, let's have a look at the controls for this washing machine. So you see Samsung has done away with all the clunky buttons and the big screens they had to make a nice, simple, elegant design. With this one, you've got your power button here, your stop pause button. This is your confirm or OK button. That's your temperature control. That little dish there is how many rinse cycles you have. And that little spinny thing is your spin speed. That one is the additional options button. And then we can see there a little phone with a Wi-Fi antenna signal there. That's to say you can connect your phone to the washing machine. So you're right, this washing machine con connects to Wi-Fi. So it's a smart washing machine. You can actually control off things with this washing machine through your phone, Android or iOS. Thank you, Samsung. All right, so let's turn it on and see how it goes. So turning it on is as simple as pressing that. All these buttons are just touch sensitive. There's no clicky feelings that you get, any feedback you get, it's just pressing and it turns on. So when you first turn it on, it just, because it's brand new, it tells you, let, let's explore your new washer. So I don't need to do that because we already did that. So let's skip that so I can skip, skip. Let's get into the cycles that we want to do. So right off the bat, we've got here, it shows you the type of cycle it's going to do and the time that it's going to take to do that cycle. Then over here where it says 40, that's where it shows you the temperature it's going to be washing at. And where it's at two, it shows you how many rinse cycles it's going to do. And then on 1400 there, it's the spin speed, how spun dry the clothes will be when they come out. So the higher it is, the more spun dry the clothes will be. So this dial is what you use to select the cycles. So as you turn it clockwise, it goes through different wash cycles that are optimized for every piece of fabric you have. So uh, that quick 15 minute wash is a cold wash, three rinse cycles and 800 RPM spin speed. I mean, you can play around with these if you want. The more you play around with them, the more time it adds or the less time it puts on it. So it's, it's just up to you. But they've put it in such a way that every cycle here is optimized for every fabric you have. So you got your e-cotton cycle there. It's an economical wash, which will take an hour 49, but it's saving on the hot water. And then you got a synthetics, which need low temperature, 40 degrees, thank you. And you've got your delicates, which need really cold water. And they put it at 30 degrees and then a low spin speed of 400. Now, if you try to adjust that, it won't allow you to go any further up because delicates do not like high spin speeds or high temperatures. So thank you, Samsung. And we go up, you get towels. Mm, that's gonna be a good one. Nice, fast 1400 spin speed, which is what towels need to really spin dry most of that water out of your out of your towels. You don't want them coming out damp or still dripping or you want them coming out ready almost to get dry. So that's pretty good. You can adjust that, of course. And you get the temperature. It shows you here the maximum load capacity there. It's just a guideline telling you the wash load capacity there. It says four kilos. Then so one word to say, if you're doing towels, you probably want to do about four of them at a time, the big long ones, just because towels absorb a lot of water. And if you put in too many, they'll absorb a lot of water and then they'll put a lot of strain on the washing machine. Before you know it, it's weighing 10, 15 kilos and you'll break the drum, you'll break the washing machine. So big, big, big no-no to overload it. Just put in about four and it'll be right. And then... You got a bedding there and another thing there it's with bed sheets and light duvets. You notice it says maximum two kgs. And like with any other front load washing machines, they are not meant to wash blankets or dunas. Let me repeat that again. They are not meant to 
wash blankets or dunas because same as towels or sponges they just absorb a lot of water before you know it it's 10 15 kilos and it's ruining the washing machine you can wash sheets bed covers all that that's fine as long as you don't wash the actual doona or blanket those belong at the laundromat if you do that you add an extra three four years to the life of your washing machine so thank me later all right let's move on to the next one you got shirts you can wash shirts uh, it's an hour wash so as you're going around like it just have different cycles the hygiene steam clean which some people might like woolens outdoorsy for all those outdoorsy people active wear if you go to the gym that will be a good cycle for you it's a 33 quick 33 minute wash almost cold low spin speed and they'll come out nice and clean and crisp and then we go colors so if you don't want to run your your clothes so it, it, sh it it's going to do a low temperature wash which is really essential for closet colors if you wash closet colors at a high temperature the color will just run out so thank you samsung for doing that and so all these denims as well so all these cycles is everything that you used to get on the old samsungs but in a nice classy presentable way not too much noise not not cluttered it's pretty nice i'll say all this you can do it from the comfort of your couch on your phone so all you need to do is put in your clothes put in your washing powder Download the Smart Things app and connect this washing machine to the internet. Then you can select your cycle and get it to start. You can even look at the status of your wash if it's done yet or it's not done. Then another thing, you've got a silent wash here. It's pretty quiet when it's washing, but you can actually select an extra silent wash cycle on these because say you get home late, you don't want to wait up for the clothes to finish washing, you can Put it on the silent wash or if you have your, your 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 laundry in your dining room or your kitchen or next to your bedroom you don't want it to be too loud or if you've got kids you know really young kids you don't want them to be woken up by the sound of the washing machine spinning so it's going to do a silent wash and keep it all nice and quiet then we move on to daily wash so a daily wash is for cottons and synthetics it's going to take about an hour and six minutes and cloudy day that's a powerful spin speed just for you to have most of that water out of your clothes and ready to dry on a cloudy day rinse and spin that's run without washing and then drain and spin so you notice as i'm going through these cycles this little menu up here like this progress bar is progressing up and so that just shows you where you are in terms of your wash cycle selections drum clean the most important bit so you've noticed maybe in, on your old washing machine now that it started accumulating mold or it's getting smelly they actually have a drum clean function of the on these and samsung has had the that on washing machines for a long time so thank you samsung for doing that that's a, just a dry wash dry as in no washing powder no cleaning nothing in the 30, 70 degree wash that's going to be a bit hot so don't try and come and open the door because it's going to be hot. And so what that does, it's going to clean all the gunk, all the unused soap, all the extra softener, anything that builds up in there that starts creating odors and everything, that will take care of it. And I recommend you do this maybe once every three or four months. Your washing machine will always be smelling nice and the seal will not get mold because you're regularly doing the drum clean. And then when you're dry, do, da, done with the drum clean, I highly recommend you also check the filter of the washing machine, which is what you need to be doing on your current washing machine. So the filter is on the bottom right hand corner of your washing machine. So let's have a look at what that looks like on this one. So this is your filter. So to open this one, pop, press it inwards and it comes out. So the filter is that little, that, that plug in there, this thing. It's like a bottle top. You twist it on it clockwise and it comes out. So all the, th the stuff you've left in your pockets like coins, hairpins, anything anyone's forgotten in their pockets ever comes in there. They, that is where the drain pump is. Make sure you clean that and check that regularly. And as I've said before, when you do the drum clean function, 
make sure you check that after check the filter afterwards that way you don't forget the filter and leave it too long where you go and try to open it and it's stuck because it's just clogged up so if you haven't done it on your current washing machine do it now all right so let's move on to the other functions so there's another function here which i really like which is the time delay function so time delay is say you get home late you don't want to wait for the clothes to to finish washing or you're going out so if you leave your clothes sitting there they're gonna crease right so after it's done so you can actually select your wash cycle say i'm gonna do like a quick 15 and i'm going to work i'll be back from work in eight hours so i select the extras option and I select the delay end. So delay end is what you want. Turn it on. So I'll be back in eight hours. So maybe start washing in seven hours. So that's just as I'm, as I'm walking in, it's finishing washing. And all the, so you put your clothes in there, you put your washing powder, and then just as you're walking in, it's finishing. You can actually use this to save energy as well. Um, energy bills, I mean, and uh, ask your energy provider what time is off-peak and then you can set it to start washing in the off-peak time. So say now it's 4 p.m. and then your energy provider says it's off-peak at 10 p.m. So you can go, okay, start washing in six hours. That way you save on electricity. So you don't have to be worried about high energy bills and long wash times. All right. Let's have a look at where do we put the washing powder or the washing liquid. All right, so moving on, we've got the washing powder and liquid compartment here, which is almost the same as the other one. So we're going to do it from uh, left to right. So um, fabric softener goes in the middle, my bad. Fabric softener goes in the middle, this blue bit, you won't miss it. Half a scoop or half a cap is enough. If you're putting in more than that, you're ruining the washing machine and it's not gonna make for a good washing experience and it will create mold in the washing machine. Then in this first bit here, you've got this bigger one. You, this is where you put your washing powder or your washing liquid. Half a scoop or half a cap is enough. If you're doing quick wash cycles, I recommend you use liquid because all the liquid dissolves, but if you're using powder, it takes time to dissolve and then start washing. So make sure, that's why when you wash, sometimes you get little black spots on your clothes because that's undissolved washing powder. And people usually put in three or four scoops like it's a cup of tea. It's not a cup of tea, it's a washing machine. So. Make sure you put in the right amount, just the right amount. And so half is enough. That's the rule with the washing machine. Any front load washing machine, half is enough. Pre-wash goes here in the first one. So you'll notice that there's like markings. Might be hard to tell from here. So he says one here. And then in the middle, there's this little flower thingy. Then in there, there's the second. So first is pre-wash. Second is washing powder liquid. Then Middle is softener. Easy as that. Then we are gonna move on to the door. So something pretty cool about this is you can actually add clothes after the wash cycle has started. How many times have we forgotten that sock or that piece of clothing and the wash cycle has started? Oh, so with this, it's pretty easy. Once you get the cycle going, you can put press pause. Then this little door here, press it inwards and comes out like that then you can add clothes in there you can actually see if i move a bit further down here it's actually an opening for you to add clothes which is pretty cool um it won't fit really really big obviously you won't try to fit big stuff through there but it's just enough for what you need to put through there and when you when you're ready you close it up then it can start washing again then when it comes to the wash capacity, that's the biggest question. What wash capacity is this? This one is the 8.5 kilo model. And I'd say, as I said before, half is enough. 
with any washing machine, what you want to put in is halfway up the drum. So halfway up the door, that's it. That's enough. If you're putting in more than that, you're killing the washing machine. It won't last long. So with washing machines, that, 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 that 8.5 or 9 kilos or 7 kilos that you hear, that's wet. That's not dry. So don't try and use your foot to put all the clothes in there and jam them in there and then close the door. It won't work. Just imagine it's, it's, it's like doing a uh, hand wash. You won't take all the clothes and make a big bundle and try to wash them all at once. It doesn't work that way. So washing machine is very similar to you when you're washing. So if you have a look at these pedals. So one, two, three. And they need to be in constant contact with all your clothes so that they can lift them and clean the clothes properly and you see all these lifted points those diamond tips and all that they need to be in constant mesh with your clothes so that it washes properly that's what takes the dirt out of the clothes so if you're taking clothes off out of your washing machine and it hasn't washed properly and you add more washing powder the next time no just maybe check how much you're putting in because you're probably putting in too much clothes and too much washing powder all right so with that, so we, if you're looking for any washing machine, size of washing machine is dependent on volume. You need more volume to wash more clothes. And like you've got the time delay function. If you can, do it in two separate washes. You'd rather do that and make the, la the washing machine last another five, six years because you were handling it properly. Then when it comes to washing things with zips and buttons on it, make sure you do the zip all the way up. Otherwise, it's going to get caught in the seal and it will start leaking. So make sure you clean, uh, you do that. Then make sure you clean the seal uh, of any like hair or any lint that starts hanging onto it so that it creates a nice firm seal and it doesn't start leaking. So thank you, Samsung, for creating a nice washing machine for us. I love it. I love the AI part. So when it says AI, they're saying that AI stands for artificial intelligence and the artificial intelligence part of this washing machine is such that with all the washing you do, this washing machine actually monitors how much you've been, um, you've been washing like, and what wash settings you usually like using. So it adjusts to that and then after some time, it will just know the cycle that you want and the fabrics that you've put in there that will work for you. So that's pretty cool. It can actually detect through the weight. It measures the weight of the clothes. It can actually detect what you've put in there. You've put in a towel, you've put in like delicates and all that and it can just start. So you might not even need to press any buttons once it knows what you usually do and what you uh, usually wash. So you, you can turn on and off that feature if you don't like it too much. If you're scared of Skynet, if you're scared of the machines, you can turn off that uh, learning feature um, that Samsung has put in this washing machine. Overly, it's a really great washing machine. I like the aesthetics. It's not too busy. It's just something nice to add to your laundry. Kudos, Samsung, for creating a nice washing machine. This will set you back about 800 Australian dollars at this time of recording, January 2021. Might go down in the next few months, but for that price, I reckon it's a sweet deal. One of the sweetest deals going around. So if you're after a washing machine, grab yourself one. And when it comes to the energy ratings and the uh, water efficiency, it's got a four and a half star water rating and a four star energy rating, which is pretty good in my books. So hey, thanks guys for tuning in. If you have any questions and any models that you'd want me to review, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more of these review videos. If you like that sort of stuff or if you're shopping for a washing machine, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you get a notification to a new review or demo that I do. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time, cheers.